All right, hi friends. I have for you today The Mouse Before Christmas. It is by Michael Garland. And it's a rhyming book. So listen for the rhymes. It says here, On the night before Christmas, there was a young mouse who was stirring and whirling all through the house. He longed to see Santa, that jolly old soul, so he'd stayed awake late and then crept from his hole. There he is, he's very little. Out in the kitchen, Mouse stacked up a treat, chocolate chip cookies for Santa to eat. He made not a sound, as he hurried and scurried, but the cat was asleep, so he needn't have worried. That's right. Now on to the fireplace, Mouse gave a sigh. Though the cookies were heavy, he held the plate up high. Next, where to hide? Mouse looked around quick. Sitting in a pot, maybe he could spy on Saint Nick. Do you think Santa will see him if he hides right there? Let's see. Mouse waited and wondered and almost dozed off until hoofbeats and sleigh bells came from aloft from out of the fireplace, bang, crash, and tumble, popped merry old Nick in a heap and a jumble. That's another name for Santa is Saint Nick. And there he is coming right out of the chimney. Just like the story goes. Mouse was delighted his wish had come true. But what now, he wondered, what more could he do. As Nick stuffed the stockings which started to sag, Mouse tippy-toed near for a peek in Santa's bag. Do you think he should be getting so close to Santa's sack? It's a little hard to see here, but all of these toys right here, here's the bag, here's Santa's sack, and these toys are still inside of it. And that mouse, he's looking to go Oh boy, let's see what happens. Soon Santa was done. Time to hurry away. He snatched up his sack and sprang out to his sleigh. With a swoosh and a swish, Mouse was bundled inside. But down in the darkness was no place to ride. It's stuffy, it's crowded, Mouse started to shout. And he squeezed, wiggled, and scrambled to find a way. Out. He was down in the bag. He soon spied a place right there to poke his head free, <gasps> then beheld all around him sight splendid to see. He was high above earth in the winter night sky, streaking past stars in a sleigh that could fly. Mouse loved this new feeling, and when he looked down, far distant below, sh shone the lights of his town. It's kind of hard to see, but if you look carefully, you can see there's the land down there. There's, looks like a river with some bridges over it, and there's lights in the town. Oh, onto rooftops down chimneys, old Santa did race. Mouse marveled the reindeer could keep up the pace. They soared past high mountains, skimmed low near a river. The twist, dips, and turns set his tummy a quiver. I bet it was like a roller coaster ride going up and down and turning really hard. Over bridges and castles, and towers they flew. The rooftops of London gave Mouse a great view. I think I see London Bridge. Thrilling sights waited in each foreign land. 
In Holland, the windmills by moonlight looked grand. There's the windmills. Oh my goodness, look at all the places Santa's sleigh went. Mouse had never imagined a world so wide. He lost count of the wonders he'd seen on this ride. Crossing cities and countries over desert and sea, past the Sphinx and two towers and Miss Liberty. Before we move on, let's take a quick look here. One of these pictures is from New York City. One of them is... Do you see which one is from New York City? That's the one. That's the one that's in New York City. Here we have, we have Egypt, we have Italy, we have France. Let's see if I can remember, hang on. Bonjour. Over here we have Chow. And I just learned this one, it's Achlen. Achlen is a way to say hi if you're in Egypt. At the end of the night, at the very last house, Santa peeked in his sack and he said, holy cow, it's a mouse. That's not what the words say, hold on, let me see. Why, what's that? A young mouse. Mouse was so startled, he feared he'd just squeak, but in Santa's kind gaze, he found he could speak. Oh, Santa, I'm sorry for sneaking this ride, but your bag was so tempting, I climbed right inside. Santa just chuckled. Little friend, don't you worry. Hop on my hat, you'll be home in a hurry. Mouse clung to the fringe. The wind chilled his face. The rocket-like sleigh zoomed and hurtled through space. Back home safe and sound, there were presents for all. The one mouse liked best was a hat. Can you see? Mark size small. Then Santa crouched down till his beard touched the floor. The friends waved goodbye through the little front door. Isn't that great? He gave Mouse a Santa hat. It was so late at nice night, Mouse was ready for bed. But he wanted to try his new hat on his, on his head. It was just the right size, not too big, not too small. A hat just like Santa's. Mouse felt proud and tall. Mouse snuggled down, letting dreams fill his eyes, hearing words meant for him from a voice deep and wise. If you do all the things that a good mouse should do, don't be surprised when your wishes come true. Merry Christmas, dear mouse. Merry Christmas to you. The end. So I like this story for a lot of reasons, but one of my favorite reasons is because you can see how in the story Santa goes all around the world. There he is. He's in England here, Holland. We already said Egypt and Italy and France and the United States, the New York is in the United States, and he just keeps on going around the world. Let's see if we can find some places on here. Well, let's see. If he started up here at the North Pole, very, very cold at the North Pole, and then he went south till he got to England, then he wouldn't have to go very far. I should have worn my, my glasses for this. He wouldn't have had to go far to get to Holland. It's over there somewhere. And then where did he go from Holland? He went down to, he went south. There was Egypt. Wait, and there's Italy. And there's France. Oh, and then he'd have to go across the Atlantic to New York. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder if maybe the pictures were out of order because some of those places he crossed over a couple of times. But when they say that Santa goes all around the world to deliver the toys, you know that the world is round and all of the toys can go all around to all of the different countries, Southern Hemisphere too, all around the world. And then, whoop, back to the North Pole for a nice hot cup of cocoa and a nap. So 
Alrighty. Thanks for listening.